Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now you might be thinking that this was two digit number that that's why it was simpler. So let us deal with a three digit number. So here again, let us assume any three digit number. So how can we represent any three digit number? Maybe with ABC. So let's say ABC is a three digit number. So how can we write it? C is at the units place, B at the tens place and A at the hundreds place. So this can be written as A into 100 plus B into 10 plus C into 1. So that is equal to 100A plus 10B plus C. Now let's reverse the digits. So when you reverse the digits, it becomes C, B, A. So just the opposite order. So C, B, A can be written as C into 100 plus B into 10 plus A into 1. That is equal to 100C plus 10B plus A. Now there are two things that you can do. Either you can add these two numbers to see that you know whether you arrive at a trick or not or you can subtract these two numbers. Now addition you do it on your own and you will see that you actually do not arrive at any such trick because in order to get a trick you need to have the sum in terms of the factorized form where you actually get a number which is an exact divisor of the sum but in this case when you find the sum you do not arrive at any such result but what happens when you subtract so let us look at the subtraction part because in the subtraction we get something interesting so in subtraction what we do abc minus cba so abc is 100a plus 10b plus c minus 100c plus 10b plus a. So this is equal to 100a plus 10b plus c minus 100c minus 10b minus a. So 100a minus a same coefficient so this is 99a again 10b minus 10b this is same coefficient so plus 10b minus 10b they will cancel out to make it make a zero now plus c minus 100c this would be minus 99c so this can be written as 99 into a minus c so again in this case when you arrive at the result you see that the difference between these two numbers is dependent only on the values of a and c that is the first digit and the last digit. So if a is greater than c then also the difference is completely divisible by 99. If c is greater than a then also the difference is completely divisible by 99. If c is equal to a then the difference is equal to 0. So whenever you arrive at any such result you can actually say that this number will be an exact divisor of the difference. So if you want to play the trick with a three digit number you can do that but in three digit number you have to ask your friends to divide it by 99. Now 99 can also be written as 9 into 11 because 9 into 11 is 99. So you can also write this number in this fashion. So you can even ask them to divide the number by 9 or divide the number by 11 so that you know you kind of uh, arrive at the same result. So if you want you can try it out with a 3 digit number. In fact right now let us try with this number 876. So this would be a nice idea to try it out with this number. So 876 let's reverse the number so it becomes 678. Now let's find the difference between the two numbers. So this would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is 8. Here it becomes 8. So this becomes 9, 7. This is 1. So 198 is the difference. Now the next step would be we can ask our friends to divide it either by 99 or we can even ask them to divide it by 9 or divide it by 11. So what happens when you divide 9, 198 by either 9 or 11 or 99. So let's see what is the result that we get. So when you divide it, it is 9 to the 18 again 9. 18. So it completely divides. So 22 is the quotient and what is the remainder? Remainder is 0. In this case what happens? 11 ones are 11 and then 11 into 8, 88. So 18 into 11 is 198. So in this case 18 again is the quotient and the remainder is 0. In this case what happens? 
190 divided by 99 is 2. So, 2 is the quotient and what is the remainder? Remainder is 0. So, you see you ask your friends to either divide it by 9 or 11 or 99. Every time the remainder would be 0. So, you can play a trick even with a 3 digit number. You know that will make it all the more interesting because they might feel that you know that these are so big numbers and even then you are able to kind of you know predict that uh, if you divide them by any of these numbers the result is a 0. So that's interesting, right? Okay, now. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.